Hey guys, here we are with the finale of Chainsaw Man. Before we jump into this episode, as always, please feel free to check out my Patreon. You can find that in the description below. There you can get the full reaction to this episode. Yeah, the last episode of Chainsaw Man. What a chaotic and wild ride we've been on. <laughs> this show has definitely been a highlight for me. I really love this show. It's sad that I'm a little late with the reactions, but we are here nonetheless, and I'm really excited to experience this last episode with you guys. It's been quite the journey together, <laughs> especially with this one. Overall, all I have to say is MAPPA has done an amazing job. In many different ways, I've kind of fallen in love with it. And one of my biggest takeaways from this show has just been like every frame, every scene has just felt like an art piece. It's just been so beautiful. I know this show is has a very intense and chaotic plot line, but overall it has just it's just felt so just artful and beautiful and aesthetic. So many great terms I can throw at this show because I don't know, it's just been so, so good. And again, thanks to MAPPA. I've really enjoyed the characters so far. Our main character, our supporting characters, our enemies. I truly have never really met a main character like Denji before. And I really have kind of fallen in love with the lore of the show, with the whole devils and fiends. I think my biggest highlights have been the characters, and I would say the aesthetic vibe of the show. And lastly, like the emotion and feelings when it comes to, I guess for lack of better words, the personality of this show, because it has such like a realistic trope to it and it really does hit hard it has like a close relativity to like our real world with like other aspects thrown in i just wrote i just love like the, there just feels like such a symbolic realism effect to it just with more fantasy like elements thrown in i, I really appreciate that but yeah story's getting intense right now I'm very curious to see how this plays out. I'm a little bit nervous for Aki right now. The story has definitely gone in a direction that I was never going to expect. And I love it for those reasons, because in the end, like I'll always say, this show is just chaotic and I love it for that. But yeah, no more talking. It's time to jump into this finale together. I hope you guys are excited. I'm really excited. And here we go, the finale of Chainsaw Man. Let's jump into it together. The fact that he's getting choked by her... Oh, this is going to get so emotional, isn't it? I love this, like, first-person perspective. They've done it so much this season. Just look how pretty the show is. <laughs> what happened? Look at this scenario. Oh, did it stop on its own? Oh, are you kidding me? Is it really handing him a cigarette? <laughs> oh, wow, this is so beautiful. Oh. That was amazing. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the last opening of the season. It's the last time we're going to see this opening. All right, last one. Let's go, Mappa. Heavy. Oh, she's here. Oh, that's awesome. She 
Michigan a much better family? <laughs> Wait, don't leave us like that. Oh, God. Casually in the elevator. <laughs> if they just killed a bunch of zombies. Okay, power. <laughs> Expect nothing less. I love these two. <laughs> it's one of the highlights, too, of this show, this relationship. <laughs> it's one brain cell. Ooh. Alright, well, there's more. She's gonna jump right in. Yeah. She's gonna troll the hell out of you. <laughs> and the elevator closes. <laughs> oh, God. I love power. <laughs> Damn, it's a big one. She's not even watching. Is he just going up? Yeah. <laughs> just leave her off at that level. She'll be fine. I love this show. The humor of the show is amazing. The writer of the show is such a great grasp. Oh! That characters. You really think you're going to talk to Denji like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yep, that's Chainsaw Man. Oh, ah, just took his hand off. <laughs> Alright. This fucking show, man. Oh, that looks awesome. See, this is, this is a perfect, like, 1v1. These two? Is that supposed to be a commercial? <laughs> God, I love this aesthetic of these two fighting. It's like an evenly matched, like... Duo. I was kind of hoping we were going to see this, like 1v1 them two. I'm glad we are. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck. Oh. There's got to be a train battle, right? <laughs> I feel like there's always a train battle. All the best fights have one. Yeah, he's at training now. This is this is a more evenly matched fight. Bro, this scene is awesome. Look at that. Look at the animation. <laughs> Shit talking. Damn, it looks good. Fucking epic. Yeah, this is like some of my favorite animation I've seen. <laughs> the choreography is great. Uh oh. Always oh, doing his speed thing. Oh. He did defend him. He just lost his arm for her. See, it's little moments like that where, you know, it really makes Denji, like, humanized. Jeez, but this guy does this shit. Can we ban that move? <laughs> oh, does Denji have, like, a special move? He still got his head. Cool. Yeah. Look at, look at that shot. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oof. Oh, this fucking music. Who won? Oh! I love this vibe right now. What do you do? Oh! 
<laughs> oh, he had one on his leg! Fuck! Oh, that was amazing! Best scene on the whole show for me. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. And that music? ああ、俺と同じなんだな。てめえの手の刀抜いたら絶対手名は姫の先輩を殺す。うう。面のいい美人が。てめえのせいで世界一人になったんだ。なのにてめえは反省もせず、一生刑務所暮らし。それじゃ
God damn, now they're just showing off with this. Look at this. It's like 3D animation. Oh, they're playing my favorite track too. This is Young Denji. Oh, chills. What was that implying? Can they stop showing off how, like, beautiful everything is? Whoa. Oh my god, I got the chills. What an ending. I've been sitting here for a bit, trying to figure out the right words to say. I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words. The only thing I can like think about wanting to say is, like somehow, through all of the anime I've seen, this episode might be my favorite episode of anime I've seen. There's just something about it. If you go back to the way I described the show in the beginning of this video, I mean, that's why. They, it was everything I wanted and more, but it gave me all of like my favorite aspects of the show. And man, it just, it had everything I wanted for like an ending. And I, I loved how it ended there too. It felt like almost like a, I don't, uh, what's the word? Like a stoic ending? I don't, that's not the right word. And I loved how it didn't even have a, it didn't even have one of their like animated um, ending credit scenes. Like it was just all an open scene. And the way it was like delivered and how pretty it all was. And it, it, it didn't like overdo it. Or it didn't overdo itself at all. It was very vague and that's why I like it so much. And the, the show in general kind of has very vague moments and just like the open-endedness of the end of this episode that we just saw. It was just so like, for lack of a better word, just like vague. And it, it honestly like wants you wanting more. It's just the whole aesthetic of it too. I know I use that word so often, but you have to. Because how else do you describe that? I feel like they were showing off at points too with how, <laughs> like, I feel like they went all out on this episode. And I want to say this because it needs to be said. The writer of this manga, this story, really has an incredible amount of, like, intelligence or just knowledge of, like, humans or just a very good grasp or creative mind on it. Because I love the interactions. I love these characters and, like, the way everything's kind of, like, the way everything, like, moves. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little profound here, but like I don't know, it's it is like a dance almost. Like everything just moves so like like the fluidness it on the surface feels chaotic when it comes down to the story and what's happening, but there's just such a realism realistic element to it where it just feels like everything's so like smooth and there's so many human emotions and the vibe. Like even just talking about this show, I'm kinda getting the chills right now. I really did love the show before, like every episode before this. I think it started off pretty hot and then, you know, it got like more like interesting and then the last few episodes I really started loving the show up even more. But this last episode, I loved this episode. As I said, it, it, it might be my favorite episode I have seen of anime. And a big part of it is like the, the way the characters were like portrayed, like with Denji. And you can just kind of, you can feel his growth. And then Aki, like, joining Denji at the end of it. Like, that was, that was more than just, like, a humor, funny plot point. That was, like, real character development and, like, real, like, emotions and, like, something you'd feel between two characters. Just that whole, that whole setting. And that fight, I mean, that fight was, like, one of my favorite choreographed fights I've seen, too, in anime. Like, that was amazing. Not just, like, aesthetically pleasing, like, because it looked amazing, but, like, the choreography involved, what it meant for what's happening in the story. As, like, a first season, this was, like, a really great first season. It definitely feels like a foundation for, like, an entirety of a show. It didn't feel like a full-blown show. It just felt like a chapter, which is why I love this show so much. Because in real life, that's how it is. We go through like chapters of our lives. This feels like a pure chapter of like a life. And that's why I love this show so much because it's so real. It just feels so, I don't know. I can't like come up with the perfect words for it. But that's just how I feel. Like I feel like it's like life in art, you know? It's just, you know, with obviously a lot of chaoticness and, but life is chaotic. Like I keep saying this show is chaotic, but how I describe real life too to people is I explain it as chaotic. And I, it's funny how I never really put that one and two together. But overall this whole time, like that's what I've been like, kind of like thinking about. Like it just, 
I know that I know that this show can be very out there at times, and it has these insane things happening, and it doesn't feel like real life. But honestly, I feel like it, it is. It's like coded in real life, like underneath the like underneath the surface of this insane like fantasy elements. Deep down to its core, it's just it has this like heart to it, and I feel like you can really relate to it, especially when you see it and you can feel it. Best word I can use to describe this show, I, I've used this word many times to describe shows, but truly I can use this word is beautiful. The show really is beautiful. It's, it's ironic that I say that when we have like devils running around and blood and gore and all these things, but all of those things in a certain light are beautiful aesthetics. It just depends on the way you see them. But yeah, truly, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I think I've said everything I want to say. I guess lastly, I can tell you that I absolutely loved this show. This has been an amazing first season. This last episode was amazing. One of my favorite things I have seen. Overall, I've just had a great time. I really hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves with me too. It's been a great experience to enjoy this together. And we can talk about everything together and our feelings and our emotions towards it. Because the emotional value of this show is amazing too. So yeah, that was the finale of Chainsaw Man, the first season. Really hope we get to see more in the future. I've had a great time with you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves too here. Chainsaw Man has been chaotic, it's been beautiful, it's been amazing. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for being on this chaotic journey together. I hope to see you guys in my next videos, and I love you guys. Have a good one.